the success you seek. Quote unquote, Mario Andretti. To the Everdynamic University President, Dr. Anthony M. Penaso. The Vice President for Academic and Quality Assurance, Dr. Maria Lilibet G. Castile. The University Quality Assurance Director, Dr. Rubino M. Moreo. The Campus Director, Mate, Dr. Samuel J. Gulayan. The Campus Director, Kandihay, Dr. Luzminda G. Machete. The Campus Director, Calape, Dr. Roxanne P. Aldeo. The Deans of the Colleges, Cluster 1 Coordinator, Dr. Alberto D. Yazon. The other officials present in this closing program, esteemed AAPOPA creditors, and lastly, the teaching and non-teaching personnel of the select programs of Bohol Island State University, which were subjected for online accreditation for the last three days, a blessed afternoon. Accreditation is not only about evaluating the quality of the program offerings of colleges and universities. It is also an opportunity to recognize the individual contributions of faculty members in delivering services beyond standards. With a humble heart and on behalf of the AACOP accreditors who have assessed the select programs of your institution, I would like to extend our sincerest gratitude to all the counterparts, the unsung heroes of every accreditation activity. Your promptness, commitment, dedication, honesty, passion, and teamwork in raising the bar of academic excellence, even in the face of the challenges of the new normal, are truly commendable. Thank you for working the extra mile for this accreditation visit by going above and beyond what you could offer to show excellence in what you offer. Your initiatives and contributions will definitely serve as the very core of your achievements. Please accept my apologies if in the way we ask questions, reviewed documents, and made suggestions during the accredit accreditation process you felt offended. Our sincerest thanks and commendations, commendation go to the quality assurance team for exemplifying the essence of assistance, accommodation, and a gentle spirit. Your unwavering dedication and compassionate approach are truly commendable as you go above and beyond to address our concerns which date back to September 5, 2024. As Helen Keller once said, Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Vaisu's quality assurance team embodies this sentiment, working collaboratively to make a positive impact and create a welcoming environment for all. Your kindness and understanding serve as a beacon of hope, inspiring others to follow your example and make a difference in the lives of those around you. At this moment, let me share some of the team's impressions and observations on the online accreditation visit of the following programs. The Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, the Bachelor of Science in Marine Biology, the Bachelor of Elementary Education, the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, and the Bachelor of Science in Fisheries. The Level 3 Phase 2 accreditation visit at Bohol Island State University, Kandihay Campus, and Calape Campus showcase a commendable commitment to excellence and continuous improvement. Let me use the mnemonics B-I-I-S-U-A-C-C-R-E and B-I-C-O, which get by Suacre and Vico in summarizing the salient points of the team. B for balanced curriculum and instruction. Bohol Island State University has demonstrated a well-balanced approach to curriculum and instruction across its programs. The curriculum is designed to meet both academic standards and the practical needs of students, ensuring that graduates are well prepared for their careers. The university places a strong emphasis on integrating theoretical knowledge with hands-on experience, fostering a learning environment that is both comprehensive and relevant to the current industry trends. In addition, the performance of the graduates reflects the institution's commitment to academic excellence and student development. Graduates exhibit high levels of competency, professionalism, and ethical standards. Moreover, 
the institution has produced quality graduates and other prominent leaders proving to pave the way to the apex of excellence in its academic offerings. Lastly, the program's dedication to academic excellence is evident through the numerous awards and distinctions they have received. I for interdisciplinary approach. Collaborations with other departments, such as environmental science, tourism, and policy studies provide a more holistic education, equipping students with diverse skills applicable to the program. These linkages not only enhance the educational experience for students, but also contribute to the sustainability and conservation of aquatic ecosystems in the region. In addition, the extension activities integrate various disciplines such as socioeconomic studies related to fishing practices and tourism, fostering a holistic understanding of marine biology's role in community <coughs> development. I for innovative extension and community involvement. The programs are highly committed to innovative extension and community involvement initiatives. The university's programs are closely tied to the needs of the local community with faculty and students actively participating in outreach projects and extension activities that address societal challenges. These initiatives are not only impactful, but also provide valuable learning experience for students, reinforcing their university's role as a vital contributor to, the commu to community development. Lastly, extension activities include workshops, seminars, and outreach programs aimed at local fishermen and communities to promote sustainable practices. S for strong research culture. The university has cultivated a strong research culture that permits all levels of academic activity. Vice's research output, outputs are focused on addressing local and regional issues, contributing significantly to the body of knowledge in the various fields. Faculty members are encouraged to engage in research activities, and there is concerted effort to integrate research into the curriculum. This commitment to research excellence has led to notable achievements and recognition in various academic circles. The research outputs produce contribute knowledge, uh, produce contribute to knowledge generation and address relevant issues in the field. Lastly, the program encourages hands-on experience through field studies, allowing students to collect data and conduct experiments in natural settings. This practical approach enhances learning and fosters a deep understanding of the program. You for unwavering commitment to faculty development. Vice demonstrates an unwavering commitment to faculty development, ensuring that instructors are well equipped to deliver high quality education. The university provides numerous opportunities for professional growth, including advanced studies, workshops, and seminars. This focus on continuous improvements, improvement rather, allows faculty members to stay updated with the latest developments in their fields, which in turn enhances the learning experience for students. In addition, faculty members of some programs are encouraged to pursue further studies engage in research and participate in national and international conferences. This focus on faculty development not only enhances the quality of instruction, but also ensures that the faculty remains abreast of the latest developments in their fields, contributing to the university's overall academic reputation. Lastly, a significant number of faculty members possess professional certifications and specializations in their respective fields, which greatly enhance the quality of instruction and practical learning experiences. A for active consortia and linkages. The university has established beneficial consortia and linkages with various academic institutions, government agencies, and industry partners. These partnerships have proven to be mutually beneficial expanding the university's resources and opportunities for collaborative projects. The university's involvement in these networks has facilitated the exchange of knowledge, research, and best practices, contributing to the overall quality and relevance of its academic programs.
These initiatives have enriched academic environment and promoted cultural diversity on campus. C for commitment to quality culture and excellence. The meticulous organization of the documents, coupled with the remarkable cooperation and sincerity of the local counterparts, underscores their unwavering dedication. Their actions are a testament to their passion and commitment, reflecting a profound willingness to go above and beyond in their efforts. They truly embody the spirit of selflessness and service. In addition, the faculty in charge during the validation of documents are professional and very accommodating in addressing queries and clarifications, and they provide the requested additional verifiable documents in a timely manner. Furthermore, the faculty of, the, of some programs are competitive in terms of research activities, having presented papers at various fora and published in reference journals. Likewise, the institution's support through publication incentives is evident. And lastly, we commend the program led by its chairperson who serves as model and source of inspiration. C for comprehensive curriculum review. The university regularly conducts comprehensive curriculum reviews to ensure that its academic offerings remain relevant and up to date. This process involves input from various stakeholders including industry experts, alumni, and faculty, ensuring that the curriculum is respons responsive to the evolving demands of the job market. The ongoing review process is a testament to BISO's commitment to maintaining high economic standards. R for resourceful extension programs. BISO's extension programs are resourceful and well integrated into the university's overall mission. These programs are designed to address specific community needs, leveraging the university's expertise to provide practical solutions. The resourcefulness of these initiatives is evident in their sustainability and impact, with many programs receiving recognition and support from external partners. E for exciting hands-on learning. The program's instruction is theoretical and emphasizes practical hands-on experiences. This includes field studies, laboratory work, and research projects, all of which are crucial for understanding the program. However, BICO or BICO, B for benchmarks and best practices. Track and document the performance of the graduates effectively. This process includes benchmarking and monitoring graduate outcomes, which assist in setting standards and refining practices based on the results. Additionally, faculty members of the program may conduct research aligned with both the program and their, and their areas of specialization. And lastly, the approval and copyright protection of the instructional materials is highly recommended. I for involvement in consortia and linkages. The faculty members are expected to engage in linkages and consortia in instruction, research, and extension. This focuses on expanding collaboration and enhancing involvement in various university activities. <laughs> Lastly, the institution oh, may okay. leverage consortia resources by maximizing shared research facilities, expertise, and funding opportunities. C for conduct impact assessments of extension projects. Assessing the impact of extension program or project is essential for system improvement and to ensure that these programs meet their intended objectives and be able to find out whether you really were able to help alleviate the status of life of your clientele. And O, optimize resource allocation. The administration may optimize the allocation of resources at BISU by conducting a thorough review of its budgeting and resource allocation processes. This includes identifying areas where resources can be relocate, reallocated to better support the institution's strategic priorities and academic programs. As much as we want to give you the results of this visit, we are not allowed to do so. The report will be reviewed and validated by the accreditation 
accreditation Policy. agency of chartered, coll chartered sure. colleges and universities of the Philippines and approved by the National Network of Quality Assurance Agency yes, of Board of Directors. Results okay. may be relayed to you soon by the yes, ACUP Secretariat. Rest okay. assured po that we will make a very objective assessment and make recommendations for the benefit of your programs, your colleagues, and your institution. Ahayan niyo po kami magkaroon ng access po sa inyong portal hanggang Friday because the team will still be working and be finalizing the report until Friday po. Huwag po kayong magsasawang magtrabaho para sa kulayo ninyo to achieve world-class service and excellence. Accreditation is like a camera, focus on what is important, capture the good times, develop from the negatives, and if things don't work out, take another visit. On behalf of AACU, I would like to extend my sincerest gratitude to all the accreditors who I was very fortunate enough to work for the last three days. For the Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, Dr. Ria Monsale and Dr. Nancy Alaras. For the Bachelor of Science in Marine Biology, Dr. Nora M. Matusalem and Dr. Daisy G. Karian. For the Bachelor of Elementary Education, Dr. Elizabeth H. Alonzo. For the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Dr. Marlon R. Carreña and Dr. Sherwin B. Sapin. And for the Bachelor of Science in Fisheries, Dr. Kirino G. Pasqua and Dr. Elsie J. Cacho for sharing your expertise and utmost commitment for the sake of quality and excellent education, for showing fairness, objectivity, patience, and professionalism all throughout the accreditation visit. Thanks too to your respective SOOC president for allowing you to work on this accreditation. Lastly, allow me to share this quotation from Ken Blanchard and I quote, there's a difference between interest and commitment. When you're interested in doing something, you do it when it is convenient. When you're committed to something, you accept no excuses, only results. Once again, a blessed afternoon and God bless us all. Thank you very much, Dr. Jaime M. Forbes, overall coordinator for Baisutan Bihai and Calape campuses. Thank you very much, for Dr. Jaime, and to Dr. Alberto and the entire uh, accrediting team uh, our professors from all over the country who who shared their two to three days with us, no, as we as Baisu commits itself to its mission to provide quality higher education, no, in Bohol, in Central Visayas, and in the nation. Thank you very much, folks. Now we proceed now to the next part of our program, which is the response and commitment, no, of uh, on the part of Bohol Island State University. Now. Uh, uh, for the response and commitment for the um, campus of the Tagbilara City Campus of Bohol Island State University, please help me welcome mm -hmm. Dr. Samuel J. Gula Gulaya. Thank you, Sir Isikayat Kit Kanlas. Uh, good afternoon to all of you, especially to our esteemed uh, co accreditors to the overall coordinator, Dr. Albert Alberto Diazon from Laguna State Polytechnic University, to the team leader of BES in Entrepreneurship, Professor C.C. Nando C. Masangkap Jr. from Bataan Peninsula State University, to the team leader of BES in Tourism Management, Dr. Jeanette F. Daroka, from Iloilo Science and Technology University to the team leader of BES in Electrical Technology, Dr. Noel Iskidato from Iloilo Science and Technology University to the team leader of BES in Electronics Technology, Dr. Ronnie G. Torres from Isabela State University and lead accreditor, Dr. Edelberto R. Andal from Laguna State Polytechnic.